What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. As we continue on with our Indie Comics Weekend, we are getting into Keanu Reeves' Berserker, issue number 8. If you have not been keeping up with this series, be sure to check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything going on with this amazing amazing comic. In the last issue, what we saw were the doctors preparing Protocol X. This is supercharging Berserker, and when he is supercharged, they don't really know what's going to happen. And Berserker, he is completely on board with doing this because he wants to find out more about his past to unlock more of those memories that are so, so far away. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 8, the countdown has finally reached zero. As the electricity begins to pour out of Berserker's body, there is a giant boom followed by a very big explosion. As all of the ground forces try to make their escape, the ground all around them, it begins to crumble under the vehicles. It is absolute chaos, everybody running for their lives. The doctor going up to open up the door wanting to see this with his own two eyes. That explosion, the one coming from Berserker, it reaches out in all directions. We see a black force of energy make its way through this vehicle and it hits Diana right in the forehead, having no idea what this means. Something has touched her. As she falls to the ground, we see see the crater created, and 20 minutes later, everybody is trying to clean up the devastation. 11 soldiers have died, and a crater 2 miles wide was created. Diana has now been taken back for observation. The biggest surprise from all of this is that Berserker is missing completely disappeared after the explosion. And that's because Berserker right now, he is traversing time, going all the way back to 80,000 years when his mother was hit with that lightning bolt. What we learn is that that lightning has been traveling for hundreds of thousands of years. And at the tip of that lightning bolt, when they zoom in on it, what we see is a man screaming in agonizing electrifying pain. Now the professor, he has to explain himself on how he just lost one of the greatest assets that has ever been had. The professor letting it be known that this was more or less always part of the plan. He was going to be used for first contact. It has never been believed by the professor that Berserker got his powers from a god. He has always firmly believed that these powers come from some kind of extraterrestrial power. And though while Berserker may actually be gone for the time being, they can keep pressing forward, being able to harness some of the energy that he had put off. This may help them in synthesizing his blood, his amino acids, everything that make Berserker what he is. Having multiple clones of him trying to bring them to fruition. Even with Berserker not being here any longer, they may still have the possibility of replicating him. With the professor believes to be the the next steps of human evolution. Now, of course, everybody needs to know, where is he? Where did Berserker go? And if the professor actually has to make an assumption, believing that he has breached the quantum realm, and right now he is currently making first contact, showing us one million years ago, going all the way back to two million years ago, and then shooting us to present day with Berserker floating in the darkness, saying only one thing, and that is father. And so we have to assume that his father, whatever this is, whatever he perceives it to be, it is over 2 million years old. So it is either a very ancient and very old species, or it is in fact a god. Now the professor, he is not too concerned with losing out on the chance of first contact, because now they have Diana, her sealed up in a vat, something is very different about her. Because when she opens her eyes, we see no 
nothing but black. This is their radio. This is their opportunity to have some kind of communication with whatever is out there and gave Berserker his abilities. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This was a relatively short issue, mostly focused on the visual aspects of things and with a very little amount of dialogue. And because of that, it leaves a lot of room for hypothesis. What we could see is Berserker going through the quantum realm, traveling through his memories all the way back in time, which might lead him to his father in present day. Possibly being able to teleport to wherever that location may be because the truth of it is we don't really know what berserkers power sets are but we have a little understanding of his immortality his healing factor things of that nature he was able to discharge a two mile crater this is weapons of mass destruction level and we don't even know if that is the actual limitation to those abilities or this is just one time we see him discharge those powers but it looks like that we might finally figure out who created berserker who was that individual in the lightning bolt that conceived berserker in that cave with berserker's mother was it in fact a god or was this something much much different let me know your thoughts let me know your theories if you would like to support the channel you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button this button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little Little bit helps us out if you can't do that do me a favor hit that sub button hit that notification bell make sure you like this video and until the next breakdown